Okay, so we're out on a phase two. We got a zip system installed. We got, we like to call him Josh, the destroyer of home buying dreams. <laughs> no, no, he, uh, he's just really good at phase two inspections. And uh, I'm gonna let you follow him today. So I'm gonna follow him around with the camera and uh, he's gonna talk about the zip system, the primary drain lines. We got some vapor barrier issues. We have uh, issues with the AC system, the way the drain lines are installed, where the condensers placed. We got some good stuff for you. So uh, let's go check it out with Josh. Let's go check it out. So on the exterior of this home, they have the zip system weather barrier. And when we're looking at this or any type of weather barrier, the zip system or the Tyvek, the important thing is that it is weather tight or waterproof. Uh, you want zero holes in this. You want anything that could be a potential water leak to be taped over or uh, they, they make a compound that you can put over this to seal up the joints. And so as we're going through on the outside of this home, I notice there's holes here. Uh, there's holes like this on all four sides of the home. Uh, that need to be sealed. The next thing is that on these fasteners, the fastener heads should be flush with the material. And so you see these two locations, it's almost this whole row, and all the way down, we'll look at a couple of the spots later, but they've overdriven all the nail heads. And what that does is that just creates tiny holes that, that moisture can get into. And so what they've done is they've taken this weather barrier and making it not weather tight. And so we want them to fix this. Uh, there's a few different ways you can fix it. What I recommend is putting a new fastener next to it so it's properly fastened and sealing everything up nice and tight so you don't have any uh, water issues in the future. Uh, so we're further down the same wall and we see an entire row of overdriven fasteners directly underneath some windows. And we're always worried about water intrusion at windows. So you can see I mean, some of these are so overdriven, I don't even see the nail head anymore. So you've created a complete hole through this weather type barrier where water is gonna come in. And so this is a location where if they don't fix this right, that's gonna definitely lead to some window leaks in the future. Uh, the next thing that we notice is this tape flashing around the windows should be installed like shingles. So they should do the top row first and then the sides and then the bottom. You said that backwards. The, the sides first oh. and then the top. No, keep going. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, it's been a long day. Sorry, you bottom first, sides, and then the top. Yeah. You did it backwards and it confused me. Um, yeah. And so on this one, this one actually is correct. So you can see underneath is behind, and then, then the sides, and then they went over the top. So as water comes down, it'll run down the flashing and not get stuck behind it. But as we go to these two locations, they got the side, but they put the top behind the side. So that is backwards, that is incorrect. It even confused me. So, <laughs> yeah. Correct, incorrect. So we're gonna really focus on this area for water intrusion in the future. All right, let's move in a little closer. So you can see here, if water got behind here, for whatever reason, it would get behind the tape. And then right here, it would not. All right, the next thing is this black poly membrane that is supposed to go along the edge of the foundation. This is going to be a brick or a masonry home. And this should actually not be fastened against the wall like it currently is, but sitting on the brick or masonry ledge. Uh, if this is not fixed, what this does is they attach the brick and the stone border directly to the foundation. And this is what causes those corner pops that you see on a lot of pre-existing homes where the corner of the foundation is cracked. It's a cosmetic issue, but we can prevent it by installing this properly. All right, I'm going to jump in front of Josh here real quick and talk about these these holes right here and you really need to follow up and make sure that you make sure that the builder seals this up because we have come out on a re-inspection before and they just ignored the inspection report and they just started bricking over what they haven't completed. You can fix this fairly easily but you need to make sure that you get on to the builder or you stay stay on them to make sure that it's done correctly. So they need to put the compound over it, they need to tape it and seal this up just to prevent any issues down the line. So uh, they actually had a copy, copy of the HVAC plans uh, on the inside of the home. So it, on the plans, 
the condenser unit was supposed to go on the other side of the house. For whatever reason, they still installed it here. But we know from looking at the inside, this is the dryer exhaust. So you have all that lint coming from the dryer exhaust that's gonna get sucked in to the condenser and just clog up the unit and cause all kinds of future problems. So we're gonna recommend that this be fixed and that they should move this to the other side like the plans say. Get it. All right, we're gonna beat up on the HVAC install a little bit more. Um, so the B-roll that you just saw was the primary drain line, which comes from the AC and drains into the secondary sink. As with all drain lines, it should be sloped downward because that's the way water travels. And it's kind of hard to see from the video and it's also hard to spot in person, but as it travels behind this return right here, they have it sloped upwards. So that's obviously not going to drain properly and cause issues for the homeowners pretty quickly after they move in. Yeah, and that, you can damage a whole ceiling with that yeah, mold too. All kinds of bad issues yep, for that. Yep, Here you go. <laughs> Don't make me snarky. You can do your, do, you do you. Oh, okay, I, yeah, I say that. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna be a little bit snarky with this one since I have the destroyer of phase two. <laughs> uh, I'm impressed that this home system comes with a wireless drain. So you have a drain line, water is gonna come out here eventually. There's no drain here. It's on the other side of the room about uh, 12, 14 feet away. Just, so, just a small miss. Yeah, missed it by that much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, obviously we're gonna recommend this to be fixed. Our right. uh, builder wants to fix this. All right. Okay. Uh, so the electrician got a little crazy with his drill running the wires, and they just basically tore up this two by four to the point where it's overboard. And so what we're gonna recommend that they add either a metal boot to support this better, or they can sister up another two by four so that it's structurally sound. So one of those common areas we find water penetrations into a home is around windows and the pan flush right here in the corner is pretty poorly installed. They drilled through it, it's just hanging loose and so if water comes in from the side and runs down, it's going to get trapped in this corner and cause some issues in the future. Alright, so in the master bedroom uh, we have four points that need joist hangers for this board, this board. We got one in place, missing the other three, so we're batting 25% right now. 25%? <laughs> yeah, so we need some J hangers to be installed. Pretty easy to be installed. Wrong. 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 <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Correct. <laughs> All right, doing the shower pan. Okay. All right, so we did find some good things with this house. One thing they did correctly is the two shower pans. Uh, they did the liner properly. And what you want to see at this phase is that the corners of the shower pan are folded over to make the corner. Sometimes you'll see them cut, and that is incorrect. They need to be folded over so that you don't have shower pan leaks. There we go. That's uh, that's uh, Josh, the destroyer of uh, phase twos, and uh, um, he like what we like to say is uh, what, what do we like to say? You earned your paycheck. I earned my paycheck today. Yeah, Got lots of good stuff. Got some good stuff. Uh, made it worthwhile for the phase two. Just uh, one thing that we want to close with is you always want to follow up, make sure that they did it correctly. You can come out, take pictures, send it to your inspector. Your inspector will normally be right there, and he'll can respond or you can hire them to come back out and uh, do another follow-up uh, because we have seen them uh, yep. just start building over it yeah because they're it. on it they're on a timeline they're on a tight timeline and they're not checking all this stuff all yep. the time yeah it happened to me just last week I did a reinspection on phase two and not only was the window flashing improperly installed some of it was just missing and I got there and they had already bricked halfway up the wall still no flashing still wrong still holes so it, it yeah, happens it happens yeah so uh, that's it so if y'all have any home inspection questions please just give us a call and uh, catch us on the next one see you guys bye <laughs>